Yo, I'm back again, and today we're doing a Villarreal player ratings, bruv. So, nickname El Submarino Amarillo. Um, that's obviously Spanish, bruv. Owner status loves the club. Um, continental competition. I know Unai Emery manages these, man. That's why I'm here. Um, they're in the Europa League. I don't know who they drew, but I know they went through, I think. So, um, anyway, history. Um, okay, so they've been relegated once since 1999, where they did get promoted, bruv. So, um, in that time, the highest place they finished is third, I think. Second, yeah. Second, and that was in, what, 20, 2007. And last season, they finished fifth. So, that's actually not that bad. I can't lie. They've been at the top of the table. So, it's actually a decent history still. Obviously, they haven't won it, but it's, it's a decent history still. Now, viewing the squad, yeah. Um, we're going from Geronimo Rulli, who is actually a very, very good goalkeeper from past, from past saves, isn't it? And Carlos Becker last in it. So, yeah, a man like Jerome Nomo, really breath. All right, now, the guy has 28, 15 agility, 17 reflexes, and 18 one on ones. Are you mad, breath? Everything that I just told you, he's firm, he's just sick in it. Six foot two, 14 jumper reach, so he can jump. The arrow reach is a bit, um, like, it's, it's not good enough. But what I realized is that that's probably the top half of his body. That's probably like his shoulder and up the arrow reach, breath. What am I talking about about shoulder? I'm talking probably his flipping arms, breath. That man can't reach, but he can jump in it, so. It's, 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 it's calm though but I'm, I'm looking at it now one on ones are amazing rushing out tendencies very good as well Firm. I'm thinking kicking as well passing he can do everything bruv. and and he can do it well as well like what more could you want still Geronimo really is a very good goalkeeper first choice for a reason bruv. you get me like he's that good in it man man definitely use Geronimo really still bad man goalkeeper safe anyway next Sergio I said Joe 31 years of age. Okay, this is their backup. Um, he's still important to them. So he was definitely like a legend or something, bruv. So 17 reflexes, 15 one-on-ones and 14 agility, bruv. So you can see goalkeeping is not a problem at all. Like in terms of goalkeeping, that, that's the two very, very good goalkeepers. 15 composure, concentration, command of area, bruv. Fam, he's actually very good as well. The only problem that I'll say with this guy is that he's got 11 jumping reach and 12 early reach. So in the corners, it's very, very peak breath. However, um, can he rush out? No. So yeah, um, if uh, it's, it's, it's peak. Still in the corners, he's vulnerable in it. But when it's like reasonable near him, when the shots are near him, he's comfortable still. And on the ball, he's okay. Like the passing is okay. And for a goalkeeper, it's okay. Kicking his um, baseline and he's composed. Yeah, he's a good goal. Man like Sergio Asenjo, very good goalkeeper still. All right. Next, Rao Albio. Is this the Napoli one, bruv? Real Madrid. Yeah, it is. Madness. Smell like Rao Albio, bruv. Let's see what he's saying. All right. Um, ball playing defender. 12 technique, 12 vision, 12 passing. That's good. 12 first touch as well. So he can definitely pass the ball on a, on a centre back thing. Now, he's 34, 12 pace, 11 agility, and 11 acceleration. That's calm. 14 composure as well. Fam, he can put his foot on the ball. That's minor, bruv. 14 tackling, and he can, and he can win it comfortably. He's six foot three, he's got 15 strength. What's he like in the air? 15 jump reach and 13 heading. That's not that good in terms of scoring um, goals, but it's calm in terms of clearances still. Brave don't fear no one but the Lord Jesus Christ himself. Always good to see. And he got, fam, mentally, he's amazing, isn't it? That's probably the experience that you get, bruv. But he's 34 and he's still actually pretty decent in terms of movement, bruv. Like, obviously, it's not there, but that's what I was expecting. I was expecting to see Grace. It's, 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 everything in the physicals is above um, 11, bruv. So, very impressive still. I can't lie. Man, like Raul Albio. He's actually very good still. So, yeah, my lateral like Albio still. All right, next, um, Ramiro Funes Mori, who is already wanted. Let's see why he's wanted, bruv. He's 29. Um, no nonsense centre back, so I'm not expecting to see a good pivot. He's got 10 technique, 11 vision, and 11 passing. He doesn't have a good pivot, but let's see what he actually does have. Now, as I always tell you, man, the man that don't have the ability to move side to side, but they've got good recovery speed, all it means is that when they step out, they get fucked. They manage to turn around and then they start man down. That's what happens in it, and he's got the ability to do that. He's six foot one, fifteen jump for each seven, seventeen, seventeen heading as well. So he's amazing in the air. When he does get back eventually, well, not eventually, he'll actually get back here. Sixteen tackling, so he can get in and put that put that key tackle in, bruv. Like he's brave, so he don't fear no one as well. His legs just flinging, bruv. You know the ones. Strength side to side, man, just getting bodied, bruv. So work rate as well. Yeah, he's definitely a no nonsense. Still, man, like Ramiro, bruv. Man, just taking the piss, just kicking man's flipping legs, bruv. Madness fam. So yeah, he's that's what he's there for still. So you want to compliment this guy with someone like Albio, who's actually good on the ball. Then that's a very good complimenting partnership. It balances each other out, bruv. Man like um Funes Mori still. Very good, bruv, for what he does. Cool. Next, 
Juan Fuef, who was actually good last time I saw him, and he's still very good, bruv. This guy is only 22, like madness, on loan from Tottenham as well, but still, put that aside now, 15 technique, 13 vision and 14 passing for a centre-back, bruv, are you mad, fam? That's amazing, I can't lie, that's just flipping amazing, he can win the ball very, very comfortably as well. Composure, very, very good, bruv. In, in terms of movement, from what I'm seeing, everything is above 13, bruv, so... Fam, he's very good and he's only 22, bear that in mind. Fam, why is, why is he so silky? This guy could probably play Cam. This guy could probably play. Okay, I'll take that away. He's got 11 decisions, but still. He's silky, innit? That's, that's, my point is that you've got 15 first touch, 15 technique, 13 vision and 14 passing. This guy's a fucking... He's a, he's a defender? Really? Like, man, man can play in the midfield with that, bruv. I won't be surprised if he can play DM. He, he can, bruv. Fam, man can play DM comfortably, yeah, he's that good, bro. Man, like, one for you. Man even got the number eight, and he's a centre-back, really. Told you everything you need to know. Madness. Very good, though. Very, very good. What's he like in the air? 13 jump reach, 15 heading. Um, yeah, as long as he wins the ball in the air, he can direct that in the goal. But he needs to be able to jump to do that. He can't really jump, but he's only 22, so I'll allow him. Madness. Very good. One for you. <laughs> All right, next, Paul Torres. Centre-back, 20, 23 years of age. Okay. Um, central defender, so a balance between ball playing and no nonsense. Can I see that? 12 technique, 9 vision and 13 passing. He's got 16 tackling. I can kind of understand that. Only the vision's really letting him down in the ball playing part, but you can definitely do the no nonsense thing because man got 16 tackling, bruv. So man can just take the ball off, man. Light work, fam. Now, same same rules apply with the agility and the pace, bruv. You already know man's going to step out, get fucked, turn around in a couple of years and then duck man down every single time. So, shoulder to shoulder. In terms of flipping strength, man, man, just body man as well. But yeah, 15 pace is very, very good. He's not that composed. That's um, a concern in itself. But he's got, he makes the right decision. So kind of balances itself out, kind of. Now in the air, 17 jump and reach and 16 heading. Very, very good, bruv. You get me? That's very, very good. Like In the air, he's amazing still. And he's six foot three as well. Kind of justifies why he has that dead agility, bruv. No other one. But yeah, um... Man like Paul Torre, he's actually a very good defender as well. Central defender, I'll take that still. Can't lie. And he's only 23. Development thing. Well, as you can see, in the youth system, he's learned something in it because he's just about to leave it now. Man can happily say this guy's graduated very, very well, bruv. Man's not a field project, in it. But anyway, man like Paul Torres. Cool. All right, next, Mario Gaspar. All right, right back. Um, right back, full back support. Okay, um... 14 pace, 13 energy leap, 14 acceleration. The movement is okay. Like, it is in it. So, um, I'm not worried about the movement at all. 12 technique, 11 vision, and 12 passing. That's an okay pivot for a right back as well. But this time, he claims to be supporting, but he's better defensively. So, I'm going to have to take him from full back support to wing back defend. As you can see, that's what man's doing with him still. And and that's that's what he's best for. Can't lie. Because as you can see, man's got the work rate. Stamina, all of that tackling, all of that marking. Defensively, he's way better. He's got a very good anticipation as well. Concentration, yeah, he's definitely a wing-back defender, bruv. Don't let him lie to you and say that he likes to go forward. He can just about dribble. No other one's his first touch is just about as well. But then again, he's a defender. Those things aren't really necessary as long as he can win the ball, which he can. Old school right-back man will just win the ball, innit? Like, <laughs> simple as man, man like Mario Gaspar. It'll be very hard to get past him. That's all I'm going to say. That's that's what he's there for still. Not, not a going forward thing. Yeah, yeah that's, that's him still. All right, next. Ruben Pena. All right, wing back support this time um, on on a different thing now because he can actually support man. You know the ones man can actually do his supporting. Um, thirteen pace, thirteen energy lead, and fourteen acceleration. So the movement's not really there in it. But twelve technique, thirteen vision, and thirteen passing. Man can pass the ball still. Like for for a right back, he can do it comfortably, and he can win the ball very very well. Now going forward, fourteen dribbling and fourteen crossing. This is the person that I want to support my attackers, bruv. Because as you can see, he's capable of doing so, bruv. You know the ones. That man can dribble his way through. Plus, he's got a delivery on him. What more could you want, fam? And he makes the right decisions as well. Fam, off the ball, very good. Not really needed, but I don't give, I don't give a shit, bruv. Like, fam, that means he's not going to be standing there. He's going to be like, oh, wait, no, he's got positioning as well. So he can do a bit of both, bruv. Mentally, he's very good. He knows when to go off the ball. Knows when to stay. Positioning. Bad man. Man like Ruben Penner. Safe. Anyway, um, he's, he's very good, though. Can't lie to you. All right, next, Dram Costa. Already wanted, by the way. All right, fullback attack, 32 years of age. That's what I'm talking about, bruv. Now, this guy's 32 and he's just taking the piss out of man. Day in, day out, bruv. Listen, 14 pace, 14 agility, 14 acceleration, and 15 balance as well. And man's, man's 32, bruv. Are you mad? 
man just takes care of himself. He just don't give a fuck, bruv. Like, man just take care of himself, innit? Now, 12 technique, 11 vision and 12 passing. Man can pass the ball very, very well. 14 tackling as well. Cross, I mean, I mean, wait, crossing, yeah, very, very good, bruv. But yeah, I meant to say tackling comfortable. But yeah, going forward, he can definitely do that. You just can't dribble. So you're going to have to take him from fullback attack, put him on. You know what? He can. He's capable of doing the wingback thing. I'll, I'll give him that Give him that um, credit still. He won't put on wing, wingback support because for, attack, for an attacking fullback, I want him to be able to pick up the ball and drive. He cannot do so. He can carry the ball, not the same thing. Because if you carry the ball, you're more likely to get tackled than that. But if you can dribble, then the ball's stuck to your feet, which is not in this case. So I'd rather he just crosses it, which he's very, very capable of doing. You get me? Man's very, very capable of crossing the ball in him. So that's what we'll do. Play to his strengths in it. Just whip the ball first time, literally. So yeah, Joao Costa, very good defender though. And he's 32, so a bit of experience as well. Next, Alberto Moreno. Is this the Liverpool guy, is it? It is. Madness. He's, he's over here now. Cool. Um, He's wanted. Let's see why, bruv. All right. Um, 15 pace, 15 agility, 15 elevation. So the movement speaks for itself, bruv. You know the ones. Stamina as well. Very good. Composure for for right back. I mean, left back is just under average, to be fair. 14 technique, 12 vision and 13 passing. That pivot is actually okay. For, for, for a wing back, that, that's actually a good pivot still. He works hard. Dribbling, crossings, calm. 15 tackling. Hey, he's actually very good. I can't lie. I won't do the wing back support thing. If you want, you can do a wing back defending. That's if you want. But for me, because he's got a very, he's got a banging first touch, mate. Man, his first touch is beautiful. I can't lie. So, Man can definitely do the support thing. I'll probably keep him as that still. Alberto Moreno, he's definitely a good player still. I can't lie. He's definitely a good player. Definitely, bro. Cool. All right. Next, Alfonso Pedraza. 24 years of age, 12 technique, 11 vision, and 12 passing. Um, He's a left back as well. Movement, 16 pace, 15, 15 acceleration. Um, Okay, that's that's decent pace. Side to side is a bit under average, but that's where it always is anyway. So it's a straight line thing, not that bad anyway. Um, now this guy he has to be on support because he can't really dribble, like not really in it, but he can definitely cross though. You know the ones. Mike can definitely cross them. I'll just put him on support still. You know the ones. I'll put him on support. Just tell man, you know what? Beat your actually not beat your man. Just 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 actually you know he's got the pace. Kick it past man. And just whip it, bruv. You know the ones. Whip it first time. Like cross from cross early and cross from deep as well. That's what I tell man. But as you can see, I didn't even clock this until now, yeah. Man's 24, he can do everything apart from take free kicks and, and be a leader. Do you need to do those things as a left back, bruv? I don't think you do. Like if I'm being honest, I don't think you do, bruv. Like so uh, he, he's very, very, very well rounded. Definitely learned his business in the youth development. Obviously, the only problem that I have with him is that defensively he's gonna get fucked, bruv. I can't let eleven tackle in. Man's gonna get fucked by by a tricky winger. Man's just gonna take him for a, for an idiot, bruv. I can't lie. He will. That that's just where it is. But I'm not taking anything away from him. He's only he's only 24 in it. That man man's got good finishing as well. Man 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 will be a very good um left back in the future still. Only 24. Quality. Very quality still. All right. Next um, Purvis Perv Purvis Estopinan. Yeah, um, cool, he's 22. Um, another left back, by the way. 13 technique, 10 vision and 10 passing. Can't pass a ball. You, know, you need to learn how to pass a ball, bruv. I used the same analogy um, yesterday, yeah. Man, man, man don't button up their shirt, yeah. Miss a button and then just carry on buttoning because you look like a dickhead, bruv. Man wearing a suit and the thing is just wonky, bruv. You don't do that. You start again, bruv. You know the ones you start from the beginning, bruv, and, and do it again. Then you look, then you look banging again, bruv. Just, just banging, bruv. Like, fam. You need to go back and learn how to pass the ball, innit? Like, you, you skipped that and learned how to do your first touch, which is very, very good. But if you could pass, it'll be even better, bruv. You know the ones? Like, man, man needs to be able to pass too. But anyway, aside from that, yeah, man's got pace, innit? Like, side, I mean, side to side is a bit under average, but straight line thing, once again, nothing nothing wrong with that, bruv. Tackling, a bit under average. But this guy, he's only 22, innit? So, what I just said is definitely possible. Man can learn how to pass. He's already got a very good first touch. Dribbling and crossing are already decent enough, bruv. And he's very, very composed as well for his age. Good off the ball. I think he's definitely got the potential to be a very, very good left back. He just needs to fix that one thing. Well, one or two, three things. And he's got the time to do that. He's only 22. So it's not it's not the end of the world. Man can definitely do it still. Man like Purvis Estopinan, bruv. Man's got potential in it. You get me? So yeah. All right. Um, next, Etienne Capu. 32 years of age, 15 technique, 14 vision and 15 passing. Very good, can't lie to you. Um, he is um, now 13 agility, 
13 pace as well, 11 acceleration. The movement is is, is okay for a 32 year old deep line playmaker. That's actually okay. Now he's six foot two. He's got good strength as well. Like side to side in terms of strength, he's very very good, bruv. Balance on a different level as well. Now composure actually very good, and his first touch is just poking out, bruv. Like 16 first touches is just amazing. I can't lie, he's actually impressed me. Like he can do the simple things in it, and some. Like no nobody asks you to be a deep plan playmaker and have the ability to win the ball, but he's got that. Man's got a good pivot anyway. He works hard, composed on the ball. Very good first touch, bruv. And he's strong. So for me, I think, like, I, I, before I saw him, I would have never played him because his name's Etienne Capu, bruv. And, and he used to play for Tottenham. I would have never played him. But after looking at his stats, I can't even lie to you. Man, man will play him still. I can't even lie. I, I'll actually play this guy. Like, like, I'll actually play this guy still. He's a baller, in it? Like, he is Etienne Capu. He looks very good. Cannot lie to you. All right. Um, next, um, Santiago Casa. Caceres, Caceres. All right, um, Santiago Caceres, 23 years of age, 12 technique, 14 vision and 15 passing. So it got better and better as I read it on, but obviously technical ability is a lumpy porridge thing. Like it's not smooth ready break thing, it's definitely lumpy porridge, bruv, definitely. Now, 12 pace, 13 agility and 13 acceleration. Movement not really there, he's a carrot, carry, carry, I'm not even gonna say that, but he's one of those guys. Now, this is unacceptable in a very good way, yeah? Mentally, just look at him briefly. Just look at him briefly mentally, yeah? Tell me what you see, bruv. And what I see is everything is above 12, innit? And, and that's just amazing. Like, he's 23, innit? He should not be having that. So that's years ahead of his development. Composure, 14 concentration, 14 decisions, 14 determination, 15 vision, 40. Fam, this guy's different. He's different, innit? Like, he is, bruv. Man can already, man's already got execution on his pass as well. And he can tackle. Fuck. All of that carry lilele bullshit. Yeah, man, I'll just put him box to box still. You know the one. Fuck all of that, bro. Man, I'll just slap him box to box because that's what he can do. And it man can just do the defensive thing on the madness and the going forward thing as well on the madness, bro. So, Santiago Caceres, bro. Man, will put you on that still. He's definitely got it, bro. Definitely learning his business in the youth academy. Safe. Or learn anyway. Anyway, um, next, Francis Coquelin. Another Arsenal. Um, player, you get me. Um, ex Arsenal, anyway. Now, 22, I mean, whoa, whoa, 29 years of age, 13 technique, 12 vision, and 14 passing. So, his natural position is a ball winning midfielder. Um, he's got very good execution on his pass, and he can win it very comfortably. The thing that I needed to do, he can do, he can do that, bruv. Like, as long as you can win the ball as a ball winning midfielder, it's fine. Now, uh, movement wise, it's actually decent as well. Everything above 13, that uh, it is in it. He can definitely run around. Stamina 15, that's good enough. Um, he's strong as well. Looks for pass rather than attempting to score. Well, well you're never going to score anyway. You've got seven finishing, bruv. You know the ones. But anyway, um, I'm looking at it now. Mentally, it's a, it's, it's different gravy once again, bruv. Like, obviously, composure is not really there. I wasn't expecting it to be there because he's not really a ball playing kind of guy. He's more of an off the ball, winning the ball kind of guy. Like, not off the ball as in like Roman thing because he's going to be positioned. But I mean, like, off the ball as in he's, he's going to be better off the ball than he is on the ball. You know the ones. So. What I mean by that is winning the ball, specific, specifically in it. Now, teamwork, very good. Determination, very good, bruv. Bravery, don't fear no one but the Lord Jesus Christ himself, bruv. 16 aggression as well. It's a madness, bruv. Mentally, he's just win- willing to win the ball. That's literally what it is in it. So, man like Francis Coughlin, that's that's what he's there for still. Man's basically a destroyer. Literally, that's the word that I was looking for and it came to my head now. Man's a destroyer with a first touch and with execution on the pass. Very good, bruv. Execution on the pass and the first touch with everything else. Very, very good, bruv. I can't lie. Man like Francis Coquelin. All right. Next, Santiago... Ca- fucking hell, never mind. Next, Vincent Ibora, bruv. You know the ones. Literally, now, man's about to go back in time. Like, fucking, I forgot his name. Anyway, 12 technique, 13 vision, and 14 passing. Um, execution, once again. Obviously, technical ability is a bit of a lumpy porridge thing. Not not a smooth thing man going to have to chew for a while. Like, it's it's not refined. It's very, very coarse. You know the ones. Like, the movement is just... It's a bit, it's a bit coarse still. But anyway... 10 pace, 10 agility and 10 acceleration. I look at your pivot and when I see you've got execution, it's fine. But obviously it's going to be a bit of a, you know, course thing. But anyway, he works hard, yeah? Um, mentally, it's it's a madness. I can't lie. Mentally, it's very, very crazy, isn't it? Like, fam, work, create, teamwork, positioning, very, very good, bruv. Determination, composure. Like, the way man can beat the press, yeah, just based off his composure, just the madness, bruv. Comes deep to get ball. Like, as a, another carrilero like 
bruv, 14 tack. I mean, 15 tackling. So, for me, I'm, I'm thinking, where would I play him now? Um, it's, it's not a box to box thing. Like, he can do that, but he's got no movement in it. I, I like my box to boxes to be able to roam a bit. With this guy, um, ball winning midfielder, um, he, he's definitely capable of doing that. He can do the destroyer thing, but then again, he's got a bit more about him. I can't really just put him down to destroyer still. This this Carrillero thing, man, it's, I, 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 I don't know where it is, bro. Let me, let me read that. Now, what I saw from that is that a normal box to box would move box to box, which is forwards and backwards, right? But this guy moves side to side. Um, on, on, on a mad thing, I, I'm not going to ask him to do that. I, that's, that's just me and I can't lie. If I was to choose what I'll do for this guy, um, it would have to be probably deep line playmaker maybe because he's got good execution. He's got very good composure. And them man, they are always under pressure. And he's going to be very good under pressure, bruv. Um, yeah. And he can win the ball as well. It's probably a deep play and playmaker thing for me. I can't even lie. Like, that's just what I'll do. But on a defending, yeah. Like, even probably on a deep thing. Yeah, and that's what it already is. So, yeah, that's what I'll do still, man. Like, Vincent Ibor, he's the number 10 for a reason. I have no clue why. But I'm not the, I'm not in charge, bruv. You know, the ones. The game is definitely the game. Safe. Anyway, Manu Trigueros or Trigor, Trig- I don't even know how to say his name. But anyway. The guy is advanced playmaker, support, 15 technique, 15 vision and 16 passing. Very, very good, bruv. Now, am I about to witness another silky midfielder from Spain? I think I am. As you can see, the movement is not there. He's got agility, though. So he's moving side to side regardless of his pace, bruv. You know the ones. Now, when I see no pace, I always look at the pivot. And as I've already read out, the pivot is on is on a madness, bruv. Composure, 16, first touch, 16. The guy is silky in it. Like, like he just he's just silky, bruv. Decisions. Once again, man makes the right decisions, dribbling very good, bruv. He can pick up the ball and drive, plus him having the, having the ability to pass the ball very, very well. First touch on a madness as well, man, just taking man out of the game, mixed with that anticipation. Another silky baller, bruv. 14 work crate as well. 14 work crate as well, so man will put it in as well, bruv, you get me? Like, he's very, very silky, plays one, twos, everything you need. Man's just simple, in it. And those are the best players, because this is football. This is football, innit? So... Man, man will definitely give you football, man. That man who tra- Trigueros, he's definitely a baller still. Definitely a baller. Cool. All right. Next, Moy Gomez, bruv. 25 years of age. Once again, um, this guy he can play out wide this time. Would I do that? Let's find out, bruv. Obviously, man could play Cam. Let's see. It all comes down to the, the decisions. Has he got good decisions? He does. I'm putting him in the middle. I can't lie to you now. Let me tell you why, yeah. He's even got good tackling, so it could even be a centre mid thing if you're if you're look if you're lacking depth in the centre midfield. But anyway, seventeen technique, fifteen vision, and fifteen passing. As you can see, the movement isn't really there. I mean, it's it's calm, but it's not really there. I'm talking like speed. Now, side to side is calm, meaning that he's definitely made for that that midfield thing. Can't lie, the midfield thing is for him still. Now he's quite shook, so he's just keeping his head down, just pinging balls, bruv. You know the ones. Like that's where his decision is very very good as well. First touch on a silky thing. He's just another silky baller. Simple as man's got flipping first touch. Obviously, he doesn't really have anticipation, but I'll put him in the midfield anyway, so he won't really need it as much as you'll need it out wide. You know the ones. But you can definitely do, do, do the out wide thing if you're lacking like depth there as well. But for me, man's putting him in the middle still. Because as you can see, I'm going to say it one more time, man's got a good pivot. Man's got a good first touch. And and decisions making very good. I didn't even see man's got 15 flares, so he's a bit of a cheeky little fuck up out this guy. Man like Moy Gomez, madness. 25 years of age. Definitely learn his business. Just escape the youth system as well. Learn his business, bruv. Baller. Definitely a baller still. All right. Next, Samuel Chakwezi. Um, is this that wonder kid? It is that wonder kid. He's 21. And I'm seeing sets that he's just years, years, years fam. Anyway, let me, let me just explain now. The guy is 21, yeah. Um, 16 pace, 14 agility, 16 acceleration. The movement is there. Now, cuts inside from the right wing. We know this because, as you can see, the agility is there now. 17 dribbling, the ball's just stuck to his feet. Like, it is in it. Like, that's what I say. Dribbling is how much the ball sticks to a player's feet in it. Like, it is. So, it's, it's stuck to my man's feet on a little gorilla guru thing now. 17 technique, 10 vision, 14 passing. If he if he fixes if uh, imagine if he had good vision like imagine if he, if he could actually see what he was doing that would be amazing I can't lie but obviously you can't because he's got ten vision in it so not really much you can do there now I'm, I'm I was going to say he's gonna be that kind of guy that's just gonna cut inside and bang it like like like, like a little Pepe thing but it's it's more than that I can't lie it's more than that still like man man actually got 
decent, like very good execution for a 21 year old. The only thing he's lacking is the vision. First touch on a madness as well. And his anticipation is very, very good, bruv. Determined to put the ball through your legs as he will do. And he's got 16 flair as well. This guy's dangerous. I can't lie, he's only 21. Wonder kid right there, I can't lie. I don't know why it doesn't say in the media description, but he's definitely a wonder kid. You have to give him the respect he deserves. Obviously, there are some things that need improving. Obviously, man's got that nine decisions, bruv. Concentration, man's just looking at the, the, the bees in the sky, bruv, when, when the ball's at his feet, bruv. You know the one, like, he just, he's not concentrated. But anyway, um, obviously, man just needs to fix their vision, really, for me. And then I'll definitely take him under the wing still. Definitely. So, yeah, man will just improve the vision and move on. But, yeah, definitely a mad wonder kid, man, like Samuel Chakwezi, bruv. Definitely. So, anyway, um, next, Gerard Moreno. Striker, advanced, um, advanced forward, okay. Um, 14 technique, 13 vision, 14 passing. Can definitely create for other people. 13 dribbling a bit under average, but it's still okay. Now, 15 composure. That's very good as well. Determination, good. Mentally overall, very good, bruv. Like he is. Now, for a striker, I need you to be able to put the ball in the back of net. Can you do that? Yes, the fuck he can, bruv. On a comfortable thing as well. It's 17 finishing. So, so it's up there still. His finishing is definitely up there. You know the ones when it's just up there, innit? Like, man can put the ball in the back of the net with ease. No traits, because he's just that he's just that ice cold, bruv. Man just says, you know what, traits fuck them. I don't know who they are, bruv. Man man gave them a name and everything. He don't know who the fuck traits are. Man just says, you know what, just give me the ball, put it in the back of the net, bruv. Simple as off the ball madness. He's a very complete strike, I can't lie. I would not have been surprised if he could do the complete forward thing. Because as you can see, he can do pretty much anything. Like, he can literally say, fuck everyone else, I'll get my own goals. Or you can say, you know, I'll help everyone else and I'll, I'll help you man to get your goal too. Gerard Moreno, silky baller still. All right. Next, um, Danny Rabba. Those two are wanted, but this guy's wanted as well. He's 24, he's youth. Um, well, just escaped the youth anyway. He's an advanced forward slash cam who's got 14 technique, 14 vision and 14 passing. So he's a striker and he can definitely supply. Now, if you create chances for him, can he deal with those? I mean, 12 composure is not really good, but 14 finishing, though. He's actually, he, kn he knows where the goal is. Very good to see. And he's got a good first touch. Let's take man out of the game. Anticipation a bit under average, but obviously I'll put that shit down to his age, bruv. You know the ones. 24, 13 pace, 11 agility. The side-to-side -side thing is mad. I can't lie on, on a bad thing, but pacing behind that, that will definitely, um, hopefully that will improve anyways. He's only 24. It should improve still, but um, 11 work rate, not really there. But he makes the right decisions. That's what that's what I needed to see. And he's got it still. So for me, I think he's got potential still. He does. I can see why he's wanted. Who's he wanted by? Never mind, bro. But he's fam, he's 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 a good player though. Can't lie, lie. Anyway, next, Paco Alcasa. Alright, 26 years of age, 13 technique, 11 vision and 11 passing. Definitely not a people's person in terms of the team. Like the teamwork is 13, says everything you need to know. What he is though. Is a guy, he's that Mr. Incredible guy where he says, fuck that, I'll do it, I'll do it on my own, bruv. Literally, man just says, fuck it, bruv. And and as you can see, supply him and he'll and he'll and he'll do do the business, bruv. You know the ones. Like like man's got that 17 finishing, 16 composure, 16 first touch, anticipation on the mad thing as well, off the ball mark him, and he just put pu pu push him in that position, bruv. Man, man, man's got the de the determination to put the ball to put the ball in the back of net, bruv. Work rate 15. Fam, give this guy service. What's he like in the air? Jump reach, very bad. But on the goal scoring thing, if it's if it's level, man, man will put it in the back of the net as well. Fam, he's very good for what he does. Oh, fam, like fam, for what he does, he's amazing. Obviously, not a, not a team pl player. Like definitely a solo thing. Plays for himself. I can see that through his stats, bruv. Just get him get gets his own goals, bruv. Just just gets his own goals. So man, like Paco Akasa, that's that's what you need sometimes. Like just man, man just need to get his own goals, bruv. Don't try and make him a people's person. Don't try and turn him into a left winger or some bullshit, bruv. Just make him a striker, innit? Simple, bruv. So, yeah, he, he would be very good as that, bruv. Mentally on a different level. Technically not really there, but he knows where the goal is. So, what does it matter? Shout out Mike Tyson, bruv. What the fuck does it matter, bruv? And the other ones, anyway, next. Puff, I mean, he, he's actually very good, though. Um, Anyway, next, Carlos Baca, bruv. 33 years of age, another. They've got three very good finishing strikers. I can't even lie. Like in terms of finishing, them I know where the goal is, innit? So, anyway, um, 33 years of age, 13 technique, 13 vision, 12 passing. I mean, he's another poacher. Um, he can kind of pass the ball, but he's another poacher still. Obviously, off the ball is calm. Um, composure is good. What's his first touch? Under average. But he's got he's got good finishing though. 
like another one. But man can just put the ball in the back of the net in it. So that's what I'm very, very confident of. I'm definitely confident of this team scoring a lot of goals because they've got good pivots, yeah, and they've got men that are just mad when it comes to um, putting the ball in the back of the net in it. So man like Carlos Baca, he will definitely do that for you still. Baller. So yeah, let's let's see. Oh wow, I skipped Danny Parejo. I didn't even know that's the main man, bruv. How could I, how can I skip Danny Parejo? This absolute baller, bruv. Like, Madness, man. Man almost skipped him. Football manager flipping legend, mate. Anyway, Danny Parejo, yeah. Now, movement not there, obviously. However, look at the pivot. Ever so, ever so quickly. Just look at that pivot. But man's got that 15 technique, 17 vision, and 18 pass now. You mad, bruv. Man's got that pivot, yeah. And and the execution on that pivot is just a different level, bruv. Like, I remember when we played them. When we played Valencia a couple years ago, this guy was just ridiculous, bruv. Man was just slapping it, bruv. Like, when I say slapping it, man was genuinely slapping it. Like, fam, I never want to see this guy again, really. That's why I'm happy we didn't draw them, because this guy is a different baller. Different baller, bruv. Now, composure, 16. First touch, 16, bruv. Listen, from far, it's another mad thing. Like, the decisions, it all speaks for itself. From what I saw, I can definitely see what I saw in these, in these stats, bruv. Like, he's just a different baller. He works hard. He's got the dirty grit about him as well, the determination, the, the work rate, bruv anticipation very very good as well under pressure he's just unstoppable you, you know when man are just deadpool man just man just unstoppable under pressure bruv first touch 16 yeah he's different gravy i can't lie he don't even need to dribble and he don't need to have pace because the passing just does the speaking and when when he looks at options around him he's like you know you man are shit yeah man will just slap it top bins from 30 yard bruv he's just different baller bruv i can't lie danny parejo absolute baller in it like penalty taking 18 I think he was 19 or 20 a couple years ago. They they took that down, but I don't mind, bruv. He's that good, bruv. Like, he's, he's a baller in it, so. Man like Danny, man like Danny Parejo in it. Um, I don't think I missed anyone else. Um, yeah, that is Villarreal, bruv. That is actually a very good team. I can't lie. Una Emery, he, he's inherited actually a good squad still. Well, I'm not going to say inherited, but that's that's a good squad, squad that he's dealing with right now. I can't lie to you, so. Um, I'm going to see how I'll set these men up still. They're that good, bruv. I forgot to give them a rating once again. I'll give them a three out of five. I think they're, they're, they're actually a good team still. Man like Villarreal. All right, so that's how I'm setting these men up. You get me? Man's doing a 4 3 3 wide thing. Um, really in goal. Man's got this guy at left back, bruv. Um, I chose him because I realised I'm looking at it like I'd, I'd rather play the youth in it. I'd rather play the youth still. Costa on a support team. Obviously, that's going to contradict to me, but I don't give a fuck, bruv. Um, I'm seeing who who was my other options. I think it was youth still, but he's just that good in it. Like he's just that good. I'll probably play him for another season, and then I'll put these men in. Obviously, he's quite old as well. But I'm talking Gaspar. Um, oh wait, not Gaspar. Who's the other one? Oh wait, they're both old. Yeah, safe. Put hey, I'll, I'll take that, bruv. Anyway, um, yeah. So I'll put Torres there as well. Um, that's youth right there. Um, on a co on a cover thing, Foyth, ball playing defender, youth as well. Now. Take away the youth for a second now. We've got Parejo on, on, on a mad thing, bruv. With Capu as well. It's just going to be crazy. With Chigueros in the middle of the two deep line playmakers, the silkiness is real. Let's see the average technical ability with those three, yeah? We've got 15, 15, and 15, bruv. You get me? It's going to be a mad midfield thing. Obviously, I didn't put... Fam, I wasn't going to put Gomez out wide, yeah? But then I realised I needed balance because I saw Chuck Weezy and the potential that he had and you need someone to balance him on the other side. I think this guy is definitely capable of doing that. And I'm not going to lie, I'm going to put Alcasa there still. Um, as striker, I'm definitely choosing Paco Alcasa still. I have to be completely honest because I think he, out of all of them, he'll probably get the most goals. I'm thinking, like, just say, fuck everyone else, get your own goals. And he has he has a lot of service. As you can see, everyone going forward, apart from S2 Pinion, is on support, bruv. He's going to bank a lot of goals in. He'll probably compete for the golden boot. I'm that confident, bruv. So, yeah. That is Villarreal. Villarreal. They're, they're a very good team. I said three out of five as well. So, yeah. That's how I'm setting them up. So, yeah. If you like the video, like the video. Subscribe to the content. You know what to expect from me. And I'll see you in my next episode, bruv. Safe.